Boko Haram and Islamic State West African Province terrorists have been taxing residents of Mati, Abada, Kukawa, and Guzamala areas of Bono State for road use. That is aside from the levies farmers and fishermen have to pay on their produce. Sahara reporters gathered that the failure of residents to comply with these directives attracts the death penalty. One of the affected persons who spoke with Sahara reporters noted that residents have been forced to obey every directive issued by the insurgents who are now in control of the area, especially with the integration of the deadlier ISWAP group. When asked if there was no military presence in the area, he said, the operations of military personnel are not evidence in the area as the whole area have been condoned off by terrorists who have taken charge like a government. He said, who dares disobey the insurgents? That person must be ready to die. You know, it is not only Boko Haram we now have ice swap no one even there eats because we know the consequences they will simply pull the trigger the insurgents have taken over they have turned this place into their own kingdom we obey their sex rules traders and farmers pay five thousand naira monthly well the fishermen pay two thousand naira per box and box of fish fish what is your thought about this traders and farmers are to pay 5000 naira monthly while the fishermen are to pay 2000 naira per box and box of fish not minding if the traders and farmers you know have made up to 5000 naira they, they are not concerned if these fishermen also probably have made up to 2000 naira but they just have to comply it assures to us that these people are really suffering from the hands of the bandits. Now, you will not see the government of Nigeria considering this kind of area and deploying more security agents to that place. But they will go after, you know, the freedom fighters. That is the people that will be going after, leaving people who are suffering, leaving the real matter that is going on in Nigeria. What kind of government do we have in Nigeria? What kind of democracy do we practice in this country? Well, we would like you to drop your thoughts on what has been said. Well, let's move further and see what other residents of this area have to say concerning what they are facing through these insurgents. Another resident said apart from that, along the road to Baga in the Kukwa local government, going to the fish market at Kukawa, the insurgents charge for road use between the range of 200 naira and 500 naira. Then, when returning after buying items, the trader will still pay. The driver will also pay to the insurgents. Anyone who does not have money to pay, these insurgents will seize their phone. Then, probably after selling the fish or whatever produce, you can come back and pay to get back the phone. Also, they sometimes asked for bread and drugs for people that they know would go to the town to sell the fish, he added. Also speaking, the Director General Center for Justice on Religion and Ethnicity in Nigeria, Kalamu Musa Ali Digwa, who hails from Digwa, said, Insurgents have taken over the land. My own area, the people have been under Boko Haram and Iswap and many other places for long. Since the administration of Good Luck Jonathan and now under Buhari, they have been under Boko Haram. No one can enter where they are. The issue of fishermen at Kukawa local government area, the terrorists took over the place. The people there are into fish farming but as a then, they stopped the people it is the Boko Haram that was selling the fish to even military people at a time. 
This was what they did for long. Now the terrorists have reshuffled. They selected their own governor. We are in a very terrible situation. The ISWAP members are not only you know, in these areas. They are everywhere in Bono State, observing so, so that you know, they can attack effectively. The government is not serious. ISWAP has access to the government and even the media. They are also advanced technologically, while the people do not even have access to the telephone's network. These things they are doing is rampant in northern Bono, and the government is not saying or doing anything about it. The way we are saying it, something is wrong. Though, this is not only in northern Bono, but you see, Mate, Dikwa, and the rest have been taken over completely by Boko Haram. These people have an agenda and by the time they start operations fully, people will suffer especially as Aswap is involved, a deadly sect under Al-Qaeda. How can terrorists take over everywhere, collect taxes, and the Nigerian government will sit and watch them? There must be something behind it. What is your thought about it? Don't you think there is something behind what is happening presently? Meanwhile, Sahara reporters earlier reported that the interim council of the Islamic State West African province, Boko Haram terrorist group, headed by one Abdul Mossab Al Banawi, has introduced mobile courts and policies overseeing insurgent activities and groups under the leadership of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. The council had also established two wilayas caliphates at Lake Chad and Sambisa Forest to sustain its war against countries in sub-Saharan Africa. The terrorist group was said to have lifted the ban imposed on you know, fishing and farming activities in the Lake Chad area three years after chasing people out of for alleging you know, spying for Nigerian troops. It nevertheless imposed new taxes and levies in the areas controlled by ISWAP Boko Haram to regulate trades and agricultural activities. Several fishermen, farmers and merchants have returned to the Lake Chad area to engage in socio-economic activities under the arrangement of the new ISWAP Boko Haram leadership. It is obvious that these people are really suffering and the government is not doing anything about this. It's time for the government to please no, no, look into this and please do something about it if it is possible that there is nothing between the Boko Haram, ISWAP and the government of Nigeria because I don't believe you know, it is possible for a government to just watch the people so far. Why is it that the lives and properties of citizens of Nigeria are not even important to the present government? What is really happening? why is these things happening we would like you to drop your thought you know and reaction to this that has been said aside from the levies farmers and fishermen you know have to pay on their produce the terrorist the uh, boko haram and the ice swap they still collect you know taxes they collect levies from farmers and fishermen why is these things happening what is your thought about this we would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on this that has been said would like you to share your own reaction with us on this in any country where injustice becomes law resistance becomes duty of the people an institution rooted on slavery can never set that is you know a reaction from bob solo who have reacted he said in any country where injustice becomes the law and resistance becomes the duty of the people then an institution rooted in slavery can never set Nigeria is a crime against humanity. That is what Ziba Ziba have said. What is your thought about this? Injustice is a threat to justice everywhere. What is your own reaction to what Bob Solo have said? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section on the present situation of things. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.